My name is Cindy McClellan and I'm the archivist at BCIT and I'm also the president of the Archives Association of BC. Today we're going to be talking about digital preservation management. Um, there's a lot of dis different aspects to digital preservation and a lot of hurdles to be overcome, one of which is that a lot of people don't even think about digital preservation as being a problem. We have just the basic challenge of dealing with your uh, textual uh, analog records, you know, like I said, the, the back hallway that's now filled with all these boxes and we need to deal with them finally, um, but also, you know, the topic of today's workshop, our roundtable, is digital preservation management. There's been a lot of research that's been going on over a uh, number of years, a lot of great projects internationally that have been happening, but I think it's only in the past couple years that um, organizations actually are starting to sort of put them into practice. And so that's why today is a great um, learning opportunity for all of us because we've got speakers from SFU, uh, UBC here, and also the City of Vancouver Archives who actually have digitization projects underway and how they're actually managing those digital records that are born digital. They're coming to the archives now and how do we maintain and preserve them for the long term. But with that comes all the challenges of electronic records because new software, new technology, it changes all the time and you know you can't open floppy disks from 10 years ago because <laughs> no one has those computers anymore so that's in the archival world um, that's what we're working towards uh, solving those problems and working together in a very collaborative environment our membership throughout British Columbia is quite uh, diverse we have over 230 members right now which is um, a great number and it's, it's growing exponentially I think as people realize that um, their back hallways and, and rooms are filled with boxes and now they need to officially formalize their archives. As part of my job, I help the university remain compliant with the privacy legislation that applies to us. Um, and I also advise on how we can protect the privacy of the individuals who appear in the records and trying to strike that balance between openness and access and protection of privacy. We are able to archive uh, personal information. Um, usually there's a closure period or a period in which that information would be restricted. Archivists take a very, very long view. Like we're preserving these records for potentially hundreds of years into the future. And so this is where the extra challenge comes in with digital records as well. How do you make sure that you can still play that um, reel-to-reel -reel tape or they can still open that Word document in like 50 years time? One of the reasons that I am an archivist is that I really care about history, I care about stories, I care about um, getting rid of some of those silences in the historical record um, and as an archivist uh, you have a hand in that, you have a hand in writing history, you have a hand in preserving kind of the first draft of history, um, the kind of things that genealogists and historians will be looking at in the future.